And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge. This time we're looking at timer, a reverse engineering challenge with the tag Android. You will find the flag after analyzing this APK. Download here, we'll go ahead, we'll download that. And we are going to talk a little bit about Android and applications and packaging, and then we'll get into the solution. So first off, always good to run file on it. So what we can see is it's an Android package, APK, with ZipFlinger, whatever. Okay. The important thing to realize is this is just a zip file. It's a fancy zip file. And to prove it to you, I will unzip it. And what we're going to see is a bunch of different folders. So let's open this up in VS Code. Take a quick look. We've got the, the most important thing. Why is this not open anyway? It's very interesting that uh, that won't open. It should be just an XML file. What is it actually? Oh, I see. They, they do some kind of binary. All right, so in the compilation process, what was an XML file that describes all the different things in your application is turned into this binary XML. Uh, additionally, you've got some resources like animations that are described. Again, it's XML, unfortunately, so most of this won't mean a whole lot, but everything that you need to present your application is here in this, including there are these DEX files. And what is a DEX, you might ask? Well, so here's a nice handy package or a handy picture of the packaging process that happens when you do an Android app. In a prior challenge, I think it was Safe Opener 2, which I'll link to, we talked about this, going from Java into class files using Java C, the Java compiler. Android apps are written in Java or Kotlin, which is a, a JVM language. They're compiled to dot class files, and then they're further recompiled into DEX files. Uh, DEX stands for the Dalvik Execution Engine. It's, uh, it's the JVM for Android because Android phones used to be much more, uh, much weaker than they are now. So you couldn't just run the JVM. You had to have this own specially tuned uh, execution environment. So unfortunately, I don't have the tool to open these things up. But there is another tool that was recommended to us by the hints. So the first hint was decompile, and the second was use mobsf or jadx. I know jadx, and so I went to the GitHub page. I downloaded the most recent jadx. I have it over here, and we're going to open it up. But uh, I wanted us to have that understanding of what's going on first. So this wasn't just, hey, I used the magic tool, but instead, Okay, the magic tool does some things that makes my life a little easier. And now that I understand that, I can, uh, I can use the tool effectively. So we selected the APK and you're gonna see it's very similar to what we had originally. We've got our resources, we've got our Android manifest, and now nicely we can see it versus it being that binary XML. And you can see there's a flag right there and additionally, I think they put the flag a few other places just to make sure that you can, you can easily find it and you're not digging through all the source. So let's, let's look at the different ways that we can find things. You can use the search functionality and look for Pico CTF, case insensitive. And we see it's also in the, the build config. So let's go ahead, let's grab it, copy paste and claim our points. And I think one of the reasons some of these challenges get, uh, get such a low percentage when they're even 
reasonably well designed and helpful and introduce you to something is really there's no context. And I think a lot of the write-ups, they just say, well, open it in JetX and, and then you'll find it. Or, you know, uh, extract this. Actually, we could have... We could have gotten here a different way. We could have also, I think, with the unzipped files, I think we could have run strings on this. Let's try strings on star.dex and grep for pico. Yeah, so there, there are many ways you could find this. Some of them teach you more about what's going on and what's important. And uh, yeah, I try to do that. And if you find it helpful, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. I appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. Thanks.